When I was younger, I was totally obsessed with the Greek and Roman myths. I remember going down to my local library and just scanning the kids' area for any, you know, new books about them. And I remember one of my favorites was this gigantic, huge orange one, and I would take it home and I would go through it page by page, memorizing the illustrations, and I loved every moment. Um, I loved every myth, I loved every god and creation and explanation, and it was, it was very fun for me. Um, and that's kind of why I love Hercules. Now, of course, everyone these days knows how, well, not historically, but mythology inaccurate it is, because, you know, Hera hated Hercules and all that stuff. But, to me, Disney got, like, I don't want to say the point, but the fun of Greek myths, because Hercules, to me, was a very creative movie. They went through so many designs and angles and plots, and it all worked out. And something I liked was how Hercules, he wasn't a jerk. I would think that, like, being raised to be a hero, or at least uh, after all the fame stuff, he would be, you know, convinced to treat people badly or to see himself as better. But he doesn't. He retains his shyness. He retains his optimism. He's, he's really adorable, on it, kind of. And um, I love seeing him that way. I love seeing that no matter what, his core personality and his good traits didn't change just because of fame and fortune. He still had his goals in mind. He still wanted to be with his quote-unquote real family. And that's why he's one of my favorite Disney princes, <laughs> I guess you could say. And then you have Meg. Oh my god, Meg was so new to the whole Disney line when it came to women because she had sass. And she was kind of like a villain too, but in a good way. What well, You know what I mean. And to this day, I still have people who absolutely love her so much. And I I kind of wanted to be here for Halloween for a few times. I don't think I could pull off the dress, though. Um, she was sassy. She didn't take anyone's shit, except for Hades, because she didn't have a choice. She had such a painful past that people could, you know, see in themselves. And, of course, that kick-ass song. And speaking of the song, the songs in this were fantastic. Um, I loved every minute of them. Um, of course, now I can't even remember one of them, of course, the brain part. But the one, one where Hercules sings about trying to find his way and his path and his home gets me right here every time. I'm almost driven to tears. It's so inspirational. And then you have like, all the fun songs. And then you have, like, um, the one that uses sing about Hercules, and you have Meg's song, which is, like, you know, memorized for every woman I know. And, um, going off of that, you have the muses, who were such a fun aspect. I love that they chose to go with uh, not just a Greek choir, but like a black gospel, because I think it was not only creative, but it was very respectful I th and a lot of fun. A lot of people love these muses. I've seen girls dress up as them. They're very inspirational, and they people want to be like them, and they serve such a great purpose, too. And they're not, like, shoved aside, and they're not, like, you know, made less important. They're a main part of the story because they are the narrators in a, their own unique way, and they're fun. I just, I just love this movie so much. Oh, and of course we can't forget Hades. Hades is one of the most fun Disney villains because of his sheer amount of sass, and his whole attitude, and the jokes, and you have pain and panic, and they're such a great trio. Even, I'm just remembering this movie now and I can start laughing, even though I know every single joke and, know, and I know how it comes. Because the delivery is so fantastic. Um, James Woods ad-libbed a lot of stuff, and you can tell. He's, he works so well with this character. I'm shaking the screen at this point, I can't help it, this movie gets me so enthusiastic. Ugh, this movie's just so much fun from start to finish, and you can just understand it so much on a deeper level wanting to be something more than you already are. And, of course, the, if, well, not of course, many people don't, don't know this, but there was actually a 90s TV version, because, you know, in the 90s they made TV versions of everything. Um, it was animated. Um, it was about Hercules before, you know, he, he found Meg, before he got rich and famous. He was still working under Phil. 
it was kind of like the high school years, but they made it a lot of fun because they introduced a, this way they can introduce more and more and more myths, but turn it to the Disney way to make it even more fun and silly. Um, and he had two two friends, uh, Cassandra, who was uh, you know the one who saw the future, and then you had Icarus, who was you know one, the one who flew flew too close to the sun. And they had all kinds of fun with those two. And they had Adonis, and they had Aphrodite, and I could go on and on. I love this show so much. Is it out on DVD? Because if not, it should be. Because I would buy that instantly. Oh my god. You can, you know, dislike both things, movie and the series, because they're not respectful to... I don't know what to say. No, not respectful. They're not accurate to the original myths. But, again, these were made for children. These shows were made for children. And, again, I... Th don't think it was disrespectful because, you know, they took myths and they put their own creative spin on it. And he asked me, that's what myths do in the first place. They put their own creative spin on the world around them, you know, to explain lightning and the sea and everything. And, you know, myths tend to change over time, just like religion. It's never the same thing year after year after year because, you know, people change and minds change. We learn more things so we have to adapt. And Disney understood that, so they decided to take it and have all kinds of fun with it. And I'm so glad they did, because I still think it's one of the greatest movies ever. I heard that recently they put Hercules, you know, back in the parks, and I think that's fantastic. He's not as muscular as he could be, but, you know, they, I do suppose they do have limits when they have models there. I hope they mean we can see Meg soon, because I, that would be, like, the most fun person to see. I imagine the actress playing her would have a lot of fun with all that sass. Uh, they used to have a parade when the movie first came out, but of course that's all gone. They even had the muses, which is fantastic. I, I cannot emphasize enough how I'd love to see live action muses again. Oh my god, that's so cool. But I'm starting to ramble on at this point. So you're getting, you're understanding why I love this movie so much. And, you know, I, I want to see it again now. So I guess I better wrap this up. Yeah, the movie and the show weren't that accurate. That was the fun of it. If you stay accurate all the time, you know, why bother sh t showing it and saying it again? You may as well have fun with it. That's why I love both these things very much. Have a magical day, everybody.